Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use chi-square test for feature selection in machine learning with the help of simple solved example. First, we will understand what is a feature selection. Feature selection is a process of selecting relevant features or variables that have strong correlation with the target variable. That is, by identifying and keeping only the relevant variables, we can improve the performance of machine learning model here. Let's take an example. In this data set, we have been given uh, three features here, gender, occupation and income. Target is a target variable here. In feature selection, what we need to do is, uh, we need to check whether each of these features are relevant for the given problem definition or not. If they are relevant, we need to keep them and then we need to train the machine learning model. If a particular feature is not relevant, we need to remove it from the data set and we need to keep only the relevant features here. Now we will see what is a chi-square test. Chi-square test is a statistical test used to determine if there is a significant correlation between the two categorical variables. That is, uh, whether there is a correlation between the given feature and the target, we will check it out. If there is a correlation, we keep that particular feature. Otherwise, we will remove that particular feature from the given data set. Chi-square test is a non-parametric uh, test. It makes uh, no assumption about the distribution of the data. Now we will discuss how chi-square test is used for feature selection in machine learning. In the first step of chi-square test, uh, we need to define the null and alternate hypothesis here. The null hypothesis H0 is, there is no significant association or correlation between the two categorical variable. What is the alternate hypothesis or H1 here? There is a significant association or the correlation between the two categorical variable here. So what we need to do is, uh, we need to uh, check whether H0 is accepted or H1 is accepted in this case. In the second step of uh, chi-square test, we need to calculate the contingency table from the given data. So this is the data given to us. This is just for uh, example I have taken. This is not the complete data set here. From this uh, given data set, uh, what we need to do is we need to create the contingency table. For each of the variables, we need to create the contingency table here. So this is how the contingency table for income variable looks like. The target has two possibilities. One is uh, subscribed and another one is not subscribed. So that's the reason I have taken uh, two columns here. If you have any other uh, possibility in the target, we need to take one more column in this case. And income has three possibilities, low, high and medium. So that's the reason I have taken three rows in this case. Based on the number of possibilities for a particular feature, we need to take the rows. Number of uh, target variables will determine the number of columns in the contingency table here. Now how to get this 20? So what we need to do is we need to count whenever there is a low income, how many number of times uh, the target is subscribed. So that is what we need to count. In this case, uh, if you count it from the given data, it will become 20 here. Whenever there is a medium income in the income column, how many number of times it is subscribed? That is nothing but this 40 here. The same thing we have to do it for all other possibilities. We will get the contingency table. Again, I'll tell you. In this case, I have not considered the entire data. Just for example purpose, I have shown a part of the given data and uh, I have shown how to calculate the contingency table in this case. The same uh, contingency table, I have written it one more time. I have added one uh, total column and total row in this case. Coming back to the third step, uh, in this case, uh, we need to calculate the expected frequencies. We know the observed frequencies. What we need to do is we need to calculate the expected frequencies here. Now the question comes in front of us, how to calculate the expected frequencies? To calculate the expected frequency, we, we use uh, this formula. The expected frequency of a low income given subscribed, that is low income given subscribed. This is what observed frequency. I want to calculate the expected frequency here. That can be calculated using this formula, that is row total multiplied by column total. Row total is how much here? 50. Column to total is 70. So 50 multiplied by 70 divided by total that is 140 here. So this is how we calculate the expected frequency of low income given subscribed here. So that is 50 multiplied by 70 divided by 140 is equal to 25 here. Similarly, expected frequency of medium income given subscribed. Observed frequency is 40 here. That is expected frequency is the row total is 65 here. Column total is 70. That is 65 multiplied by 70 divided by total that is 140 which is equal to 32.5 here. Similarly, we need to calculate the expected frequency of high income given uh, the subscribed here. 
so we will get the expected uh, subscribed uh, frequencies here the same we have to do it for not subscribed also that is uh, expected frequency of low income given not subscribed that is what we need to calculate that is nothing but the row total multiplied by column total divided by 140 here again the same thing we will get that is 25 in this case the second one is uh, expected frequency of medium income given the not subscribed is equal to 32.5 expected uh, frequency of high income given not subscribed is equal to 12.5 here now we need to write it in the table this is how the table look like we have already uh, written these two things i have just added the expected uh, subscribed and not subscribed frequencies here now what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, calculate the chi square value in the fourth uh, step here Uh, this is the formula to calculate the chi square uh, value that is chi square is always equal to summation of uh, observed frequency minus expected frequency bracket square divided by expected uh, frequency here uh, chi square is equal to you can notice here the observed frequency for low income is 20 whenever it is subscribed and expected frequency for low income is 35 whenever it is uh, subscribed so what we need to do 20 minus 35 bracket square divided by 35 that is what i have written here similarly for medium income the observed frequency when it is subscribed is 40 and uh, expected frequency when it is uh, subscribed is 32.5 so 40 minus 32.5 bracket square divided by 32.5 here similarly 10 minus 12.5 bracket square divided by 12.5 with respect to not subscribed 30 minus uh, 35 bracket square divided by 35 25 minus 32.5 bracket square divided by 32.5 here and 15 minus 12.5 bracket square divided by 12.5 here once you solve this equation chi square value is equal to 11.6 in this case now uh, what we need to do is in the fifth step we need to compare the chi square value with the critical value to accept or reject the null hypothesis now the question comes in front of us how to calculate the critical value here to calculate the critical value first we need to calculate the degree of freedom degree of freedom is always equal to number of rows minus 1 multiplied by number of columns minus 1 here number of rows in this case is 3 because there are three possibilities are there like low income high income and medium income so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 here number of columns are 2 subscribed and not subscribed So two minus one is equal to one in this case. That is two multiplied by one is equal to two here. The degree of freedom is equal to two in this case. One more uh, variable is required that is known as significance level. Uh, by default, it is set to point zero five in uh, uh, chi square test for feature selection here. Now, once you know the degree of freedom and significance level, we can easily calculate the critical value using this uh, table here. That is a chi square uh, table. the degree of freedom is equal to 2 here and the significance level is equal to 0.05 the value for this one is 5.991 in this case so this is what is the critical value for the given uh, degree of freedom and significance level in this case now what we have done we have calculated the chi square value that is equal to 11.6 and the critical value is equal to 5.99 in this case now we need to compare these two things if the calculated value is greater than the critical value then the null hypothesis will be rejected so the null hypothesis is rejected means what the alternate hypothesis will be accepted in this case what null hypothesis is the given feature is not relevant to the target here so that is what the null hypothesis is if we reject the null hypothesis what is the meaning of that one the given feature that is the income is relevant to the target in this case so that is what i have written here the income level is relevant feature for predicting the subscription status in this case in this case i have shown uh, for only one feature the same thing has to be done for all features in the given data set and then we need to check whether the given feature is uh, uh, relevant or not relevant in this case so this is how we use the chi square test uh, for feature selection in machine learning i hope the concept is clear If you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching